Hey everyone, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to give you a quick look at Ableton Push and how you can make the pads on Push really do um, what you want them to do and how you can just kind of get to know the pads a little more easily, especially if you're someone who's been used to playing the piano for quite some time. And speaking of the piano, I'm going to be making use of TuneTrack's Easy Keys plugin here in Ableton 9. Now, uh, let's go in and show you what Push is all about. Now, what I have here on Push, of course, is my grid of lit pads. Now, I have eight pads going across each of the rows that I am working with, and this is going to allow me to very easily play notes inside of Push. Now, uh, there's a couple things to keep in mind. The first thing is that Push is going to work initially in a pre-programmed mode that's going to lock it to a certain key. That's going to make it easy for you to be able to basically play Push and very easily stay in a certain key and not have to think about exactly what it is that you're playing. You're going to stay in a key no matter what. There's ways to change that and we'll go over that in a little bit here. Um, so I am locked right now in C major. And what this means is that uh, push is still laid out sort of like a piano keyboard that we're used to playing. Starting with a blue key, a blue key is going to denote the root note of the key that I'm working in. So in this case, C. So that is C right there. The white keys are notes that are in the scale, but they are not the root. And the green keys, those are keys that are being played. Now, if a key is red, that means the key is being recorded, and I can show you that when we record some MIDI here using Push in Ableton. So, with this knowledge of how these pads work, let's talk about how everything's laid out. Starting with the root note, and being that Push is currently set to C major, this means that as I move up the pads, I'm going to be playing a standard C major scale. Now, I have two ways of doing that. The first one is that I can simply play across the eight pads. Now that's going to be a lot of reaching, but I can still do that. So that's pretty straightforward, but it doesn't really make itself very useful for how it is that we might want to be working with push, which is playing with one hand and maybe tweaking knobs with another or something along those lines. So the way that Ableton has uh, fixed this essentially is allowing you to more easily play scales by utilizing just a small quadrant of the pads on Ableton Push. And here's how that's going to work. I'm actually going to play up the push pads here to play a scale rather than playing across the line. And I'll show you how this works. Now you can see when I land on my next root C right here, you notice that I have other glowing keys that match that, that key. So this means that I have a few different ways that I can get from one root note to the next one up in the scale, but it's very quick and easy for me to play up in the way that I just showed you. So after I spent a little bit of time with push, you'll start to feel a little more comfortable with how it is that you can play a scale by sort of just watching the visual indicators that will sort of show you the next note that you, that you should play in the scale. So you can just kind of watch as I play here. So you can see I'm just kind of watching the visual indicators there from the pads on push and that kind of gives me a quick and easy way to follow along and see exactly what it is that I should go ahead and play on push in order to follow with my scale. Now you're also going to get to know where it is that the notes are of course on push as you start to work with it. Now this also means that I can easily play triads. That's just a C triad right there. I can play inversions. Now let's say that I want to play other keys, however. I want to play in other keys, other scales, things like that. That's real easy to do. I can hold down the scales key on push. This gives me quick access to the scales. Now there's a few things that I can change here. The first is going to be exactly what kind of key I'm in. And I can do that by changing the knob right here on the top of push. This allows me to switch back and forth between major, minor, Dorian, and many other different musical modes that I can use with push. Next up, I can choose what key I'm going to be in. So in this case, I'm working in C, but if I want to use F, 
I can just press the button right here, which denotes F, and that's going to move me down to F and allow me to play in the key of F. So now, if I were to play my root note, it is now playing in F, and of course that'll change depending on whichever key it is that I set push in. Now there's a couple more very important things here, and they're on the right-hand side of the screen. You notice it says fixed and it says no or N right now. What this means, when fixed mode is on, the notes on the pad grid will remain in the same positions when I change keys. The bottom left pad will always play C, except in keys that don't contain a C, in which case the bottom left pad will play the nearest note in the key. When fixed mode is off, the notes on the pad grid shift so that the bottom left pad always plays the root note of the selected key. So in other words, if I were to change fixed, this would basically be just like a piano. I would always start on C, and then I would move up just as if I were playing a standard piano. But if I have push set to fixed mode, or not set to fixed mode, should I say, this will mean that I can simply play my root note. And now, because I've set push to be in F, I'm playing F by playing on my root note right here. That's going to depend on your comfort level with push and what it is that you want when you are playing push. I personally like to leave it in non-fixed mode because I like being able to play that note and know that I'm starting at the root of whatever key it is that I've set push to be in. Now the next thing is going to be in key or chromatic. Now that's accessed by pressing this button right here. You notice what happens when I go to chromatic mode. With in key selected, which I had before, the pad grid is folded so that only notes within the key are available. So again, that means that if I have this mode selected, these are only notes that are available within the key. Makes it really easy for me to be able to play push very simply and always stay in key. However, if I go to chromatic mode, this means that the pad grid will contain all the notes, such as again on a keyboard. Notes that are in the key are lit. Notes that are not in the key are unlit. So this means right now the notes that are in my key of F major are lit. Now that might be a little um, strange for some folks, especially if you want to be making use of all these pads, but if you also want to be able to, to think of push a little more as a piano, but also focus specifically on the notes that you would play in the key, this is a really great way to kind of be able to retune your brain to get used to things, because again, you'll still have use, still have access to the other keys. So you can see right here, I start at F, then I can go up to F sharp, and then G. So this is just as if I'm playing a standard piano. So this is really useful if you want to play push more like a piano, but you also want the pads to show you exactly what notes are going to be in the key that you're playing. You would want to go ahead and select that option to be in chromatic. I very much like the in key mode because again, it makes it really easy to allow me to just play and know, well, okay, I'm going to be staying in the key that I want to be in. So again, all you need to do is turn the knob to select which of the musical modes you're going to be working in. You can use any of the buttons right here to put an arrow right next to the key that you would like to tune push to be in. And then you can change the mode for fixed mode, and you can change between in key and chromatic. All of this is going to give you really deep control over what you're going to get out of the pads on push. Now there is one more thing for you to access here uh, to control these pads, and that is accessed by holding scales and then holding the shift button on push. Now this is going to allow me to change the scale layout. This is going to be denoted on the screen right here. You notice I have fourth and up, fourth and right, third and up, third and right, and then I have sequent up and sequent right. That means sequential up and, se and sequential to the right. Now the fourth and third options refer to the note interval that the grid is based on, while the up and to the right symbols refer to the rotation of the grid. So for example, the default layout is fourth and up. That's what push is going to come pre-programmed in. And this means that each row of pads is a fourth higher than the row that is below it. So as you move up, you go up in fourths. The fourth to the right option is also built on fourths, but now it'll move to the right rather than upwards. Each column is a fourth higher than the column to the left. So it's basically, do you want to work in rows or do you want to work in columns? That's going to be up to you. The sequent or sequential options layout 
all the notes in order. These options are useful if you need a very large range of notes available because they have no duplicated notes. So again, you can select the option sequential going up or sequential going to the right. This again is all going to depend on how you really want to use push in your own productions. And especially if you're going to be using push live because the focus of push is to allow you to take your hands off of your software, off your mouse and use just the hardware and work with just push. I personally typically just leave push in the standard operational modes that it comes with because I haven't really found a need to really change these things too deeply. But if you want to, you do have that option. With all of this in mind, I can very quickly and easily lay down my uh, actual track here in Ableton. And I'm just going to show you real quickly how I can record a clip using push. I'm going to just press the record button to launch a clip record and then I'll just play some notes. And I've engaged my metronome by pressing the metronome button right up here. This means my metronome will be active while I'm recording. And there you have it. Now you saw that those pads were glowing red when I was pressing them. That meant that I was recording on those pads. And uh, that also gives me just a quick and easy visual indicator to know what it is that I'm working with. Really great when I'm working with large melodies or just kind of playing around to keep an eye on what it is that I'm doing on push. And of course in Ableton, but in this case I can look at push without having to look at Ableton, do all of my programming and take all my control right there on push. So there you have it guys, that's just a quick overview of how you can use the pads in push to be able to play your virtual instruments, your sounds in push, and how it is that you can make use of keys and etc. Now if I've missed anything today or if there's anything that you're more curious about, please feel free to get in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com and you can get me on Facebook and Twitter, or even better yet, give me a call here at Obedia. You can call us seven days a week and work with an Ableton professional just like myself. You can work with our other professionals in all manner of digital audio workstations and uh, musical software and hardware. We're going to work with you one-on-one -on -one over the phone and through remote desktop and help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. That's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching. And if you uh, have any questions or comments, please feel free to get in touch. Please subscribe and watch for more videos coming out soon. As always, guys, I'm Brian with Obedia. Thanks for tuning in. Happy music making to you and take care.